it's the end of the world and we know it and I don't feel fine so this has been an interesting fucking week by the way my guess at oh, the Buckeyes winning was correct because <laughs> I was joking and I did the, the, the beef eater gin and the uh, old Forester 1870 uh, back to back and uh, even though they they both came out like a week different from each other, um, I just I just made a joke. So <clears throat> in three days, uh, Ohio State, the Ohio State plays um, Alabama for the championship. Um, Ohio State will win twenty three to twenty. don't know how that would work out but it will um so i want to this whiskey review is going to be weird just because like i want to make jokes oh by the way um if you guys are enjoying anything i do uh whether it be i don't only have one podcast out right now but um go check that out my audio kind of sucks on that i think i figured out the issue uh for future ones but I actually want to record another one this week, but with everything that's going on between this bullshit in the United States uh, and the people that I want to talk to are generally outside of the U.S. Um, for now, is it's, it's been a shit show trying to get anyone to talk to or get time to record anything. So, um, But if you're liking any of this, please hit subscribe. Uh, hit that thumbs up. It really does help. Um, you know, the notification bell helps out a lot, too, with the algorithms and blah, 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 blah. But please, you know, that please, if you are enjoying it, please fucking like the shit, subscribe, follow me on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, um, the things, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I stream on Twitch, uh, which I just finally became affiliate on. Um, so that was a, a, a milestone that I hit. I'm very proud of that. Uh, but I have a lot farther goal to go with that uh, and with this. So um, I'm reaching my goals. It's just I need your guys' help. So good. Please, I'd appreciate it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be very jokey <clears throat> um, this week just because of the shit that is uh, been going on. We're, I believe, two days removed from the capital bullshit. So... Uh, it is January 8th, 2021. Um, I, I'm not going to put this out today. Uh, I will have this come out a week from today. And uh, But I am doing Legent. Legent, Legent, I think it's Legent. Um, two true legends, one truly unique bourbon. Kentucky Straight Bourbon and Whiskey, partially finished in wine and sherry casks. So this means that it's one going to be a fucking hangover for from hell. Um, anytime anything is finished, I, I think, in a wine or a port barrel, like, you might as well just be driving fucking screws into your melon. Because holy fuck. If you decide to get wasted on this shit i mean just the hangover period will fuck you up but oh uh this is one reason i'm not a wine drinker it's not necessarily that i don't like it it's just those hangovers suck but <clears throat> let's see nope no magic mm. this almost smells like a Oh, that's important. Uh, once again, I fucking hate these bottles. Or this lip. Because you gotta, like... Because if you go like this, it just makes it hard. You gotta pour it, like, kind of fast. But then that happens. Like, you got... Well, you probably couldn't see it on camera. But then you get the fucking whiskey um, that goes down there. Anyways, I like I like the fucking coloring. I did change my 
that sign up after a while. Um, nice Burger King cup, stupid. But it's got a nice color to it. I like the color. It's a nice uh, auburn bourbon color. <clears throat> I'm not going to Icarus myself. Maybe, hopefully. Wow, that smells like it's got a shitload of booze in it. It's only 94 horsepower. What was uh, Old Forester here? Oh, this was 90 horsepower, so this is a little bit stronger by 4%. No, I don't know where I want to set this. You know, I'll set it down here behind me. I'll probably kick it over. Um, okay. Can't get that close because of the alcohol. I'll end up burning my nose. I'm a bit stuffed up. Dude, I blew a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it's not rockets this morning throughout my day. Uh, so, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up with COVID in the next couple of days because I had a customer not tell me they had COVID um, until I left. So, we'll see how that shit works out. I was wearing a mask. I was actually wearing a surgical mask and then I doubled up uh, I doubled up um, a neck gaiter over top of that surgical mask. So, hopefully, you know, Hopefully that's all right. I'm almost getting a sweet smell from this, like almost like a cherry or caramel. Let's get a taste. Okay. Um, I definitely get, like there's, I'm definitely getting a bit of a wine taste. Like I said, I'm not a huge wine drinker. Like, I drink wine, like, maybe once every five years. Um, and that's because that's the only booze around. Or it's for, like, a, an event, like, uh, that I'm at. And that's, like, I'll have one glass of wine because that's what everyone's doing. And I'm like, hey, do we have, is there beer or, or straight alcohol that I can drink on? Um, but... I can definitely taste a bit of that wine in, in here. Uh, and I think maybe it's more of the sherry, too. Like, I know sherry is a little bit sweeter. Um, or, or, like, because I'm t almost tasting, like, a berry taste in it. Which could be, like, a cherry. You definitely have, like, the wood flavor. Of uh, of the cask, like the oak cask. Um, yeah, and they have the notes on Chef Blended. See, now one thing they do. I see. I didn't know this. Uh, refined by world renowned sh uh, Chef Blender, Shinji Fukuyoya. Sorry if I. Um, don't so. Oh, legit. Like maybe this is like a Japanese. Oh no, this is still by Fred No No N O E. Um It's a marriage of East and West. So it's a marriage of uh Japanese and American whiskey making. Yeah, Jap it, with the artistry of Japanese blending. So Maybe that's where I'm getting come some of the oakiness, because uh, I I got a hint of like the um. I can't think off the top of my head right now the uh the Japanese whiskey I tasted like almost uh like a single malt whiskey taste from it. Um. But it does it has a bit of a of a. Uh, lasting flavor but the front the front flavor 
So you have like when you sometimes when you taste it, like you'll go whoop, whoop, and then it it teeters off. You have like a curve. This one, like it just comes in, and then this staves off pretty much through it. Even though this is like ninety four horsepower, the booze doesn't hit that hard. Actually, it's pretty good flavor. Um, definitely, you can definitely taste the the sherry. Uh, uh, Maybe not the sherry, but the wine or the sherry in it. I don't know what. Like I said, I'm not a big wine person, a sherry uh, person, but I think that's what the lingering flavor is. Like, um, and it's making my mouth water a bit. Uh, but it says it has a good traditional bourbon. You get the the fucking oak barrel, and then. But you have a strong uh, wine cherry flavor through that. Sorry. Um, and the same bad. This is uh, this is definitely one that I would put maybe as a daily drinker. Um, if you're looking for a specific taste, because the taste isn't doesn't quick and, and go away real fast, it's not none of the flavors are obscene. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Um, wasn't too much. It was under fifty, I believe. Uh, so yeah, pick it up, Legent. If I'm saying that right, or Legion. So pick it up. Pretty good. Um. Nice, solid flavor throughout. Uh, not a bad smell. Like, the notes are pretty good. The smelly notes. Um, check it out. Pretty good. Um, I'll probably hang on to this for a while. Actually, I'll probably end up drinking it tomorrow night. Because i got to do real world work tomorrow. On a Saturday. So, uh, once again, if you like, please subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the the notification bell for when I ha do have shit that com that comes up. I try, obviously, if anyone religiously follows these, uh, I try to put these out on Fridays. Um, the podcasts are gonna be here and there until I can get uh, that shit ironed out. But they'll be coming. More will be coming. Um, but yeah, follow me on my socials, Twitter. Uh, at Rogue, Rogue Meat Wad, same on Instagram. I stream on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV. Uh, uh, dot com slash Rogue Meat Wad. The link will also be down there if I'm wrong on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, um, guys. Uh, actually, everyone around the world. This has been a shit show of a year, and we started off no better. Um, Let's try not to fuck ourselves any more than we already are. Y'all have a good one.